Hi guys. It's your boy, your thanks. I know it's been a long time, it's, like, it's been like a very long time in the videos, but because I had so much stuff I was working on, and um, I feel like we're finally kind of like approaching the time where it's time to like share. So um, I'm currently in Accra, by the way. If you follow me on TikTok, I created a couple of contents while I was here in Accra. Um, I went to the beach. I went to. I saw the night live, um, and then my host, Aini and Alex, they were so wonderful. Um, I also made a content about like this multiple post about the software that I was sleeping on whilst at Alex's, right? So, um, yeah, it's like today is like the day where I have to like go to the airport and like catch a flight and then guess who's joining me to the airport. Am I part of the video too? Yeah! Okay, let me join them. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Everyone watching. <laughs> Everyone watching. <laughs> All the cunties out there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like a fan base that's called Conties. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just imagining what you call that fan. <laughs> the buckets? Yeah. Maybe. So anyways, like, you know, I've been here like the last um, one week and it's been like very amazing. Um, yes, I like to put like all the cool spots in a car. Um, I mean, we haven't actually used to You know, before we would always like to probably go to different places <clears throat> and then meet at the bar and then we separate our way home. So what do you think about it? Yeah. It really made sense to me. like so nice. It was such a distraction. <laughs> from, like whatever I'm doing. But I like it. <laughs> but it was a cute distraction, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I yeah. It just felt it just felt so natural to live with you. Like really natural. Yeah. How do you mean? I just need like it's true what you say. We haven't like lived together before. <laughs> Like, it just, it just felt so natural, like, you know, yeah, it was like a part of the time, you know, I don't know, it just felt like, you know, we could totally live together, like, you know, yeah, I mean, I had so much fun, and anyway, so I'm going to be doing now, like, an outfit check, just so you guys can see what I'm wearing to the airport, so I'll probably give you the full okay. yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so when you see yourself, I can't see you. Yeah. Should I turn it like this? Oh yeah, perfect. So I have like a man with a gun. I have this red trousers that was custom made for me. And then I have this shirt that's like, it has this big on here, it has the ropes here. And then I have my, and what's this called? I think it's a Cartier. That's a Cartier. It's so beautiful. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And then I have my earrings on. And then of course my skin is moisturized for the gods. <laughs> so, <laughs> my luggage is a little bit of a color riot, but I think it will be fine. And then I have my cross bag as well. Um, yeah, so it's actually my first time traveling from like the Kotoka airport. What was your experience traveling from the um, landing at the Kotoka airport? Hmm, I don't know, like, that just went really fast, it was nice. But the last time I was here, that was my first time in Ghana. Like, um, I think... You know, I wasn't so used to the context or anything mm -hmm. like that. So, like, then we went through like the you know passport check, and like, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. I think the guy was like trying to fish for a bribe or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really like you know know what he was asking for. He was just like because we had gotten like three months visa from the embassy in Denmark, right? But like you know, it wasn't valid until he had like stamped it. Yeah. yeah. So then he said like, oh, you have three months. What are you guys gonna talk about for three, three months? months. Yeah. Like, and then you know, I don't know. It just sounded like he, maybe he wanted to communicate that he has the power to like give the three months if you want. Oh, no. Okay, thank you. We're heading you. now to the airport, and I have Alex. That's cool. So the thing is, like, I don't actually want to leave Ghana because, like, the, the last time that I came to Ghana, like, right now, the experience is like, sometimes it's like I know. I'm 
done a lot to tell you about all my crazy experiences in Ghana. Right. Yes. So now we're, I think we're driving like one hour to the airport. Yeah, it's actually a long drive. Yeah. So I'll probably just show them around. Show people. Experience has been so amazing, like super, super amazing. It's like, yeah. So I'm just going to carry you guys along now. You know, I'm just, uh, 